Howdy's gamers, this is Game Sergeant Scurry, and welcome to another unboxing video. Today, we'll be doing... Oh, huh, oh, oh, oh. First of all, huh, as usual, it's been almost a year since my last unboxing, but huh, forget about that. Today, we're unboxing something I generally don't do something of. Usually, it's a controller or some sort of item that attaches to the um, Switch itself, but today, it's going to be something that I've actually wanted to do um, unboxings of, but I don't know. <laughs> I already have so many of these, and probably everyone has one of these that, uh, at, at, at this point, if you already have a Switch, that it just kind of, I don't know, seems redundant. But this one seems like it would be a little more warranting of a video. Well, uh, let me go ahead and switch to the desktop so you know exactly what I'm talking to. Talking to, talking about in 3, 2, 1. And so here it is. Uh, it is a Switch case or more, uh, I guess more specifically, a, <laughs> a commuter case from PDP. So, one thing I will say about the uh, various different uh, companies that make these products, um, from my experience, uh, PDP hasn't been the best controller maker overall, after, you know, Plenty of controllers from many different systems. However, pretty much everything else they make is pretty, pretty damn good. So, um, before I open this, I'll just bring out a couple different other cases. This is what I was talking about. Like everyone probably already has something like this, whether they have a uh, normal switch or a switch light. I have this uh, three different cases actually. Before I got this, I have um, this uh, Go Play one. I actually have three different ones of this, but they're all the same. Uh, just it's just kind of a hard top and hard bottom case, and you know you just fit the switch in there. There's slots for these little uh, plastic game packs. They can hold four games, and I think there's room in here for something. But and you can fit something in here, but. I'm not a big fan of these cases in general, just because they're t a, a little too compact. There's really not much you can fit in here other than the Switch and a few games, which uh, I I don't like. I don't like the fact that the the like the game cases are separate parts of the case itself. So yeah, I mean I like that there's a mold for your Switch, but. That also makes it difficult to fit some other things that uh, I, I like fitting in my uh, switch cases. Now this case here <laughs> is by far my favorite looking one. I mean look at this shit. <sighs> Freaking Mario Kart all over the place. This, this has to be one of the most badass cases I've ever seen. And this is the only time, this is the only one I've ever seen like this. Um, I think I got it at Target somewhere. I don't even know what the brand is but it's a badass case in my opinion I might e uh, actually probably the brand is in here somewhere what is it Nintendo switch what does that say oh it's PDP well how about them apples well PDP you get a point for that so far you get you make some really good pretty awesome cases um, and I will say this one I like it a little bit litter <laughs> a little bit better because obviously you can hold a lot more games and you can fit the switch in here along with whatever it, generally whatever it's holding so like if there's some sort of you know skin or I guess like grip on your joy cons or something like that some other accessory normally it can fit in there the last case before I open this new one is basically the same case as that uh, that uh, Go Play one, you know, that blue like Zelda themed one. The only difference is it can hold the uh, like comfort grip that you can uh, put around your uh, Switch. So and 
I've tested uh, I've tested it on all of the different uh, grips I have. I have three different ones, and they all fit in this case. So that's very uh, you know helpful and convenient too. The only downside is it's basically the same thing as the other case. So you got these little game cases that hold the games. I still you know practically or for prep. I guess for practical use, I do like this one the best just because it can hold this uh, grip on it. And I take my switch with me on the go pretty often, so I like to uh, have, you know, something that can carry the whole thing with me. Um, I don't even know why I have these in here, but <laughs> just, just, to, uh, just to demonstrate that the, there's slots for these in here too. I don't know. Um, one thing I will say is that the other cases did have like room for like chargers and stuff, whereas this really doesn't. Although I do believe it's supposed to be like a, yeah, like a little stand for your switch, even though <laughs> you're already going to be having this, so what's the point of the stand? Anyway, skipping through this, um, the two later case, or ladder cases I had were my favorites. I, really only like that first one because of its design and there are many other cases that look like that um, that I have I have two of them in, you know around here but they're basically the same case now this the only reason I got this is because it's not too big like um, from what from what it looks like it's pretty you know it's it looks like it might be maybe twice the size if you count, you know, width and length, but it really doesn't take up that much more room, you know, like if I were to put it in a backpack or something. Um, and the only reason I got this is because I'd like to be able to uh, carry like multiple, like, the, like a controller and the switch itself without having to carry like a whole bag or that one, I have this, uh, like, like full switch case that can carry like the dock and everything with it, but it's way too big for my taste. But anyway, yeah. So it looks like this can control. This can carry like basically like three, maybe even four players worth of stuff in here. Has plenty of game, like cartridge storage and various other things that that I'd like to check out. Um, Headphones, power bank, power bank. That's an interesting thing because I got a power bank. Um, game card, 14 game cartridges. That's that's cool. Um, switch or switch light, pro controller, joy -Con controllers, four different joy -Con controllers. Does that include the ones that's that's on the switch? Oh, I don't know. Um, and an AC adapter. Well, we'll see about that. Anyway, let me go ahead and pull out my scissors. My green scissors at this time. Uh, there's a little thing right here. It looks like this one might just come off easily. Eh, I say that. No, it is. Okay, it is coming off easily. Got the nice uh, PDP gaming logo. I've noticed that they recently changed their logo. They used to be that little, had to have a little ring around it. Now they have this weird little. Corkscrew uh, icon. Maybe that's always been around and they just reinstated it or something. But anyway, um, I do also notice there seems to be more room for something right here. Probably for two two more Joy Cons is probably what that's for. Let's go ahead and slowly open this thing. Play play the sound. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like much from here. <laughs> it's just a bunch of fabric and Velcro and what have you. Oh, I'm sorry, hook and loop. <laughs> Don't want to get sued. Anyway, from what I'm seeing here, um, so you put a controller here. Probably put a um, Joy-Con grip or controller here. This is probably where you put the AC adapter or the power bank. I do. The power bank I have is, is like a long one, so it may not actually fit in this case. But uh, I'll have a uh, separate like display showing like all 
as, as much stuff as I can put in here and close it at the same at the same time. But it looks like let's see what do we have in here. Eh, that's not a lot of room. Well, this is for headphones, so that's probably what that's for. Um, and then I guess this is a cushion for the switch. Let's just go ahead and take this off. Actually, can this even fit? Hell no. <laughs> Figured it wouldn't, but I'm not taking this with me everywhere I go. Like the, the whatchamacallit. So, okay. And then I put this over. Okay, that's easy. I do have some Switch games right here. So, how many, uh, that's 369. 11, wait, 10, 11, wait, is, are these which game case? Court? They are. Wait, is there one here too? Yes. On the Velcro? That's odd. But, uh, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. These seem a little too small to really hold games, but I mean, <laughs> the smaller they are, the, uh, tighter they are I guess well I guess there's that um, one more thing I was planning on doing uh, oh shoot I think I forgot huh. well oh that's right I have this other item <laughs> that's probably one of my favorite um, you know switch accessories that I got way back when I first got the switch. This thing here, right? It's the um, I forgot what they call this thing. <laughs> but it's like a almost like an iPad cover where you can put your switch at different angles, and it's also a protective cover. And you can still charge it from down here. But I want to see if this can fit in here with that on it. The reason being is because all those other cases only the Mario Kart one there can fit this in there so but it looks like this one might fit it in there I, I'd have to uh, try putting it in with like the joy cons and all the other stuff in there but I think we got ourselves a pretty decent uh, case well you know what I do have this present over here so There you go. That's huh, not very. Uh, oh no. I guess not. <laughs> I guess we can't put this in here. That sucks. This thing is a little, like so, just a tad too bulky for you to fit it in here with the Pro Controller. But actually, you know what? <laughs> I don't think Power A thought this far ahead. Because it feels like the Pro Controller sticks will like press into the switch, but I think I think it'll be okay as long as you're not banging it against something. But isn't that the point point in these cases? So it'll you know so we'll have a so your switch won't sustain any damage even if you even if this takes damage. Well, whatever. I think that's pretty much all there is to this. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, like I said, you'll see uh, all this together. Oh no, hold up, <laughs> hold up. Already this thing's coming apart. You see this right here? Maybe you don't, but maybe you do. Freaking thread right here. That's uh, freaking. Anyway, hopefully that's all that's wrong with this thing. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video. Um, like I said, you'll see a uh, like a demonstration of how this looks during the video. And that'll be it. So thank you guys for watching. Take care and carry on.